Windows 11 settings you should know now. No matter which Microsoft, Dell, HP or other Windows rig you have, we've got you covered here with our list of hidden features that you can use right now to get the most out of Windows 11. If your desktop screen has gotten too crowded with open windows, you can quickly minimize them all except the one you are currently working in. You'll need to turn this on in Windows 11 by heading to Settings, System, Multitasking and turning on Title Bar Window Shape. Just click the title bar of the window you want to remain open to select it. You know that to get to the Start menu, you hit the Windows icon in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen or on your keyboard, but Windows 11 includes a lesser-known second Start menu. You can access it two different ways, either by pressing the Windows key plus X, or right-click the Windows icon, Start button. There are at least seven different ways you can take a screenshot with Windows. If you want to capture and save a picture of your entire screen, the easiest way is to hit the Windows key plus Print Screen key, and that picture will be saved to the Pictures, Screenshots folder. To capture just one part of your screen, hit the Windows key plus Shift plus S to open a tool called Snip and Sketch, which allows you to click and drag to create a screenshot, which is saved to your clipboard. If you've pinned programs to your taskbar at the bottom of your screen to create a shortcut, you don't have to click the icons to open them. Instead, use the keyboard shortcut Windows key plus number key with the number key corresponding to the position of the pinned program on the taskbar. For example, Windows key plus 2 will open the second pinned item on the taskbar. This is especially useful if you're typing furiously and don't want to lift your fingers from the keyboard. One quick way to speed them up may be to get rid of apps that take up more space than they should, especially if you don't regularly use them. Apps that run in the background can receive info, send notifications and stay updated, even when you aren't using them. To control which apps are running in the background and save some battery power and data, go to Settings, System, Power and Battery. This is a useful tool when you have a lot of windows open that you want to look through at the same time. For example, if you want to open new sub-menu options in new windows to save you time clicking back and forward on the same page. While you are in one window, hover your mouse or use the touchpad to move to the second window and scroll. You can also use the File Explorer Options menu to choose to show empty drives, hidden files and folders, and more. You can also choose to automatically turn this feature on during certain hours, when you're playing a game or when